Hey everyone, welcome back to another monthly reset video. September is finally here and fall will be approaching soon. You guys know I'll be talking over my budget, my goals, YouTube metrics, creating new goals. So let's just get started. Okay, so let's start by going over my August budget. Let's look at my expenses. Did I go under budget, over budget? Did I save more? Did I spend more? So I have my laptop with me and you will see what I'm looking at on the screen. If I just move over, you'll see it over here now. But let's start off by looking at my expenses tab. So it looks like I bought something each day of the month. I see entries for August 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, but I'm pretty sure these dates have to deal with when I actually entered them in this sheet. So that's good because I don't think I bought something each day. But I see the three main categories here are eat out, entertainment, and groceries. And that kind of makes sense because I did go to Philly um, to visit my mom. So we did eat out a couple of times. I did pay for a couple of activities. So that makes sense. So let's move on to my August tab. So my planned expenses, let's take a look at my monthly expenses overview. So my budget was $3,233 and I actually spent $3,199, which is great. So I'm $34 under budget. My needs are $1,890 and my wants is $1,309. So it's always good that my wants are less than my needs, but they're kind of close. Um, so I think I'm probably spending too much on my wants, but hey, you gotta live life, but it's also good to say, so I need to work on that a bit. I spent most of my money on rent, which makes sense. The next is groceries, self-care, apartment items. I spent the least on gas, which makes sense. My budget for gas was 80 and I spent $62. So I did go over budget in one of these categories, just one red, which is groceries. My budget was 200 and I actually spent 347. So even though I am over budget in that specific category, overall, I'm still under budget, which is great. So let's take a look at savings. So my goal was to save $3,226, but I actually saved $3,304. So I saved $78 more than I planned, which is awesome. I did get a little extra money this month because of the high yield savings account that I have to make money off of just having saving accounts. So um, I use that money towards savings. So that's good. Oh yeah, I think I did pretty good this month. Okay, so let's move on to my September budget. So I have rent, 13, 39, internet, $23. Electricity, I say $40. It also depends each month. So electricity, $40. That varies, but I don't think it'll go over that. Phone, $60. Self-care, I have $360. Getting my, I get my hair done almost every month because these braids don't last long. My braids last about a month and maybe a week, mostly a month. So I have to get my hair done every month. So. I, I like to keep it in a style. Right now, I have my hair in pigtails because I'm getting my hair done in two days, but in between my braids, I like to just leave my hair out, so that's what I'm doing right now for three days, and then I'm getting my hair braided. Um, and then I'm getting my facial in two days, so those are my expenses for um, self-care. Groceries, 360, my mom is visiting. Okay, I'm seeing my mom three months in a row, right? It was first Jamaica, right? Then it was me coming to Philly. Now she's coming to Texas and then that's it. We're gonna skip October. She might come for Thanksgiving. So yes, I increased my food budget just because she's coming. 
Um, and it's not like she eats a lot, but like, you know, when you're on vacation visiting someone, you tend to just eat out. So. Out, I have 120. Entertainment's 250. Usually it's not that much, but again, my mom is coming. And then I'm gonna do a couple of fun things this, this month. Um, Labor Day is coming up soon, so I'll be doing a couple of fun things. I wanna see Equalizer 3. I'm really excited to see the movie. You know, I love Denzel. Denzel is awesome. So I'm really excited to see Equalizer 3. A firm payment, $117. You guys know I'm still paying off that huge monitor. <laughs> okay. So I'm paying it off each month. I think eventually, maybe like December, whatever I have left, I'll just pay it off. But um, I'm, I'm enjoying these, you know, these monthly payments actually because it was expensive. So it's, it's nice that um, I have to pay in smaller amounts. It helps. Shopping, I have it as 170. I plan to do a little bit of fall shopping. And what I wanna do, um, and I've, I've started is shopping to replace the items that I have. I don't have enough space to add more clothes. I actually don't wanna to have too much clothes because it's too much options. And then oh, I get decision fatigue. So I think it's just best if I look through my you know, wardrobe, take a look at some things that I don't want, sell it or give it away, and then get some fall clothes. So that's what I plan on doing. Travel, zero, no traveling this month. For apartment items, I have $100. Um, apartment items are just gonna be like cleaning supplies I need. I wanna get like a new oh, cedar mop. I wanna get some pillowcases, a couple more towels, um, just stuff like that. That's 100. Miscellaneous, $80. Unplanned expenses, because you never know. Gas, $80. I'm not taking any courses, so it's zero. So let's move on to actually debt payoff. So I am going to my first ever concert this month i don't even know if you consider a concert because it's not like in a big stadium it's a lounge but i'm going to see an afrobeat artist i love afrobeat you guys know already um so i'm going to go see an afrobeat artist um and i paid using my credit card um so i just have to pay that off so the tickets was originally 180 but you know taxes and then they added like a online service fee and stuff like that so it ended up being like 250 unfortunately so i'm gonna pay that off and then for savings i plan to save three thousand one hundred and one dollars let's go back to august is that a little bit less or more so it's a little bit less compared to august but hey i'm still saving a lot so that's good so i plan to put seven hundred dollars towards um my down payment travel sixteen hundred because i will be traveling in the winter time and then $800 towards my emergency fund. So that's why I get the $3,101 from. Perfect, now let's move on to YouTube metrics. Moving on to YouTube metrics. It is August 31st today and I have a total of 841 subs, which is great. So in July I had 731, which means that I gained 110 which is awesome and then in july for watch hours i had 2309 watch hours right now i have 2798 which means that i gained 489 watch hours which is amazing so i took a look at my youtube analytics and i'm like wow like i gained 110 in one month um and last month it was 102 so i was curious to know like what videos um are making people subscribe and i see of course it's all for engineering videos <laughs> they're always so popular i get a good amount of views on that one and the software engineering work from home video 41 people subscribe to my channel which is awesome but the problem with that is that when I made the software engineering videos, which are super popular, people are wanting to see more of that. And I am a lifestyle channel. I like to do self-care. I like to do vlogs. I like to do a lot and everything. So they'll subscribe because like, they like the video, but then they'll see it. I have like a self-care video that I just uploaded so they won't come back. And that's a problem. So I don't want to get too focused 
on software engineering videos, even though I do like them. I don't want to become like a software engineering channel, if you get what I mean. I I, I can talk about it in a, in a video. I can make software engineering videos once in a while, but I don't want to be solely on tech. So that's like the tricky part. And then I started uploading some YouTube shorts, which is kind of fun. Um, the first one was okay. I mean, I wasn't able to select a thumbnail, I'm still learning. I did a spend a day with me vlog and then I did a fridge pantry restock. Um, so that first one, which was a spend a day with me actually got me two extra subscribers. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I'll continue to make them. I'm not going to be on a schedule, but um, yeah. And then what other videos helped me? Of course, my August monthly reset video um, definitely helped. I got about... 15 new subs because of that video so that's good monthly reset videos are always interesting to me so yeah that's that's pretty nice um so that's good i don't want to be too hard on myself i don't want to focus too much on the numbers i said this before because i'm more interested in interacting with you all i've gotten a lot of comments on my um dubai video the one that i did um it was how much I spent in Dubai and my top tips for you in case you want to visit. And I've gotten a lot of like, great comments, people saying that it helped them, calculate a budget, their site to go, that you'll help them. And it's always it's always nice to hear that, that um, I help someone. Um, so I'm more interested in that because you can have two or 3,000 subscribers and have like only 100 views and have zero comments. And that's not what I want. You know um, so I have my subscriber goals but I'm not too focused on that you know I want it's okay but it's a slow growth I'm fine with that so let's move on to my September goals so I met a couple of my goals which is nice the first one was to have 781 subs in August well I have a total of 841 right now so Definitely surpass that goal, so that status is done. Then take my AWS certificate exam. I passed that, I got my certificate, which I'm really happy about that. No more studying, which, which I'm happy about. Okay, I'm tired, so I have a little bit more free time now. Now, a new goal that I've added is to post at least three YouTube shorts in September. I'm not too focused on what, what specific day, what time, look. When you get notified, you get notified, okay? I'm more focused on uploading my usual videos twice a week, Wednesday and Saturday. So that's what I'm focused on. Break out three times a week. Yes, I'll continue to do that. Post in the community tab at least twice a week. I actually don't think I did that last week. So I guess stay on top of that. Um, so yeah, I'll make sure I'll post in the community tab this weekend. Create a better sleeping habit. I'm still working on that. I don't know why, but when I was in Philly, I was having a hard time sleeping. Apart from my stitch braids hurting at night, um, I would wake up like at 2 or 3 a.m. and I wouldn't be sleepy. Then I'd go on my phone because I was bored. And when you're on your phone, you're up longer. So like I would maybe fall asleep at 10 p.m., wake up at 3 a.m. on my phone for three hours, then at 6 a.m., wake up again sleep at 6 50 then i have to wake up for work at like 7 30 so i'm so tired throughout the day and it kept happening every single day now that i'm back in texas i'm waking up around like six something but at least it's not 3 a.m like it's close to the time i have to wake up anyway for work so it's not too bad but it, it happens anytime i wake up super early in the morning i reach for my phone because like what else am I supposed to do <laughs> if it's not my phone and it's the computer and I'm not watching TV? So I'm trying. I'm working on it. It's a goal of mine. So it is in progress and it will stay in progress. So for September, I hope to have 890 subs. So that, that means I'm gaining around 50 something. So yeah, that's my goal. Again, I'm not too, too focused on that. It's a goal. It's like a nice thing to have. But then again, if I, if I have 890 subs and only 
50 people watch my videos and that says a lot so that's not good yeah so those are my goals that i accomplished and some new goals that i would like to accomplish by the end of september hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye